So you just sucked up cactus juice into your vacuum pump. What do you do? I'll show you. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pete Shop Makes. I'm Pete. And I was doing some resin stabilizing or some dye stabilizing and accidentally sucked up uh, some cactus juice into my pump. Now, it's really not a good thing because cactus juice is heat activated or it cures when uh, heated. And because your vacuum pump is running, it's causing a lot, generating a lot of heat. And that could cause the cactus juice to stabilize or solidify inside your chamber, which is not good. So what I did was I took it all apart just to kind of clean it out because I wasn't really sure, you know, what uh, if anything had gotten down into the chambers or anything like that. But uh, once I got all that kind of cleaned out, drained the oil, you know, did all that and then um, hooked it back up and basically ran some oil through the system, kind of backflowed. Um, oil in there just to clean out any extra um, uh, cactus juice purged the system basically and was really surprised at how much was actually in there but um, I'm gonna show you that process now so the first thing I did was drain the oil and you can see it just got all that muck in there and I don't know if that's just a combination of everything along with the cactus juice or what but it looks awfully cloudy and so I figured it was time to Get it out of there. So once I had all the oil drained out, I went ahead and took out the four um, screws holding this uh, exhaust manifold on here. And once inside, I was able to see, now this all looks like this, this base here is all aluminum, but this looks to be either like cast iron or maybe that centered or, or powdered metal casting. Um, and I was just blown away at, in less than six months just from the exhaust vapor. You know, maybe there was some water in the air that I was vacuuming out that caused this rust, but it's really, uh, really quite unbelievable. I figured I might as well take the rest of it apart, see how it all looked, and got inside the uh, motor housing here. That's it, man. So ultimately, not as bad as I thought it was gonna look in here. And it was actually kind of cool to see how this worked. Now we'll just get it all back together. Before I do an actual test of it, I want to purge the system of any cactus juice. Um, it looked pretty clean. I didn't see too much, but I want to go ahead and either blow out um, the exhaust or just do a, a backflow, um, which if you run too long, you could overheat your pump or cause damage to the motor. But basically, you just kind of overflow your uh, oil reservoir and allow the oil to sucked up into the tube there. So I'm going to do that now and see if I can purge any uh, particles out. I'm just going to go ahead and let it purge. There was a lot more trapped in there than I thought. So after even after cleaning it and all that, and then purging out the system, you could see there was still some solidified cactus juice in there. So I'm actually glad I did this because who knows where that would have ended up or had I let it go any longer, what what damage it would have caused. Now I'll just go ahead and uh, fill her up to the uh, halfway point. There she comes. All right, so now we'll go ahead and get it plugged in. 
see how she chooches. Let's go ahead and uh, see if it'll pull a vacuum. Quick. A lot quicker than actually when I bought it new. So, there you go. How to uh, disassemble and look inside your uh, back pump <clears throat> and uh, get it all cleaned out when you accidentally suck up something that you shouldn't. So, there you go. Got it all finished up. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It actually works better now than when I purchased it. And I just purchased this little pump off of Amazon. Fairly cheap. It's just a single stage um, pump. Uh, 3 CFM, 110 volts, quarter horsepower, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, works, it works great, I think. And um, so, yeah, I was really pretty happy with it and, uh, you know, hope this helps some of you. I looked for anything online kind of regarding this issue and didn't find anything. So, um, you know, and I'm sure it happens to a lot of people. But um, one more thing, though, I do want to share with you guys. This pump came with a one gallon tank here and it's a decent size if you're doing some smaller uh, degassing of things. But if you have something taller like these uh, pin blanks that I was doing, um, this really isn't ideal. So I was looking for some other vessels to use and I found this pretty thick glass vase, but because the uh, gasket on the outside of my lid for my pump uh, is so wide I didn't really have a decent seal so I tried using some of this silicone rubber window seal and it's got a double stick tape on the back and it just adheres around to the top of whatever you're uh, you're wanting to use now if you're using glass you got to be kind of careful because it can implode and that can be uh, pretty dangerous so you want to make sure that it's pretty thick and you may want to test it out first, you know, before uh, applying vacuum to it. But I mean, really you could use another stainless steel pot or anything like that and just put this silicone rubber gasket around it and it works great. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys, little tip. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and a share. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.